Billy Fanatic having some fun before the ball game like he always does. Romo is going to take his vehicle. <laughs> oh, he's funny. And it's always something new. Between innings, a little entertainment on the field. That's Clammy Sosa, part of the uh, entertainment act today. The superstars. Directly out of Louisville, Kentucky. A little entertainment going on for you there. That's Chris, great you get a kick out of that. <laughs> See, that was all set up by the fact that uh, the Philly Fanatic, on his birthday, they had the big party before the game, was thrown out for arguing with the third base umpire. Sure. Well, uh, in light of our social media Tuesday, guys, we're asking best topic, and we want everyone best ha best mascot. Excuse me, we want everyone to get on Twitter and give us their best mascot. And, and look who I brought well, up. You to know who the best is? That San Diego Chicken's the best, isn't it? No, he? no, no. You know who the Just best? Minute, sir. I'm talking to my partner here. The best mascot of all time, as far as I'm concerned, Mr. Met. Uh -oh. I love yeah. Mr. Met. Yeah, yeah, yeah. he's good. Yeah, he's uh, he's a good guy, and um, I'm a big fan. Is that oh, you, Laura, no. doing that? I'm you... sorry. I'm so sorry about that. Low line drive, uh, one hop to the first baseman, Franson, who takes it to the bag for the end. You know, the last time I had a feeling like this was when I was in high school, I actually had hair that would get into my eyes. Let me get some of this off of you. I this is kind of like it. It kind of feels nice and cool. Why don't you go back to the Galapagos Islands where you belong? Cha cha. You got any relatives back there still? Yeah, I don't understand why. You know, with their colors are red, that this guy's green. I mean, is there a is it a bile problem or? Hey, I see you on the. I, I see you on the. Um, <laughs> you're on the low carb diet there, huh? You know, when you walk in front of us during a day game, it's like a human eclipse. You're so big. Yeah. Honestly, though, best mascot of all time right here. What do you think of Laura? Oh. oh. How you doing? Wow. Yeah. Hey, that was great. <laughs> so I was saying about the San Diego chicken. Yeah. Oh, I mean, there's just never going to be anyone quite like that, you know? <laughs> hey, Fanatic, where are you going? <laughs> We're not done with you. How do you keep your eyes open so long? Blink for me. Staring contest. You got something to say? <laughs> Vote for me. Okay. Or Mud gets it. <laughs> I think you already got it. <laughs> you know what? You've entertained thousands, millions of fans. The Fanatic can't get it started. He's having some trouble. The lights are going on, but he just can't get it turned over. Jason Worth coming over to kind of help out. <laughs> they just couldn't get it started. So what did they do? They just lifted it up. Over the rally. <laughs> and that is where it sits now with the lights on <laughs> as we speak. Uh, a lot of entertainment for a lot of the folks who are sitting. I'm not saying that one of our guys might have done something to the Fanatics mobile, but he cannot get it off the field. And they're going to have to lift that thing over the railing to get it off the plank surface. He usually jets off toward the right field corner. And I think there might have been some chicanery on the third base side where the visiting team resides. Yeah, a lot of interest. I want to see the guy driving the Fanatic tow truck to get that thing. <laughs> and that might be your call for it, ladies and gentlemen. I like it. I like it. Oh, in between innings, you know they have the uh, sausage and hot dog race out in Milwaukee. The Fanatic, Fanatic made sure that there was a young lady that was able to win the hot dog race here at Citizens Bank Park. Oh, man. <laughs> He's going to get himself hurt one day. That's one of my favorite things when he's able to do that. And there she goes. It was a walk in the park after that. Well, this is reminiscent of the great Eric Gregg. Laz Diaz doing a little dancing with the Fanatic in between innings. This went on for a few moments before Laz actually broke into a smile and then broke into a dance. <laughs> Jimmy Rollins joking with him a little bit. Oh, that was kind of cool to see. Had a little bit of a malfunction with the hot dog shooter, Cliff Lee and Cole Hamels. They kind of stand uh, stand in line to try to be this part of the promotion during the hot deck series. And Cliff really wanted to fire some hot dogs into the crowd, but they just weren't 
shooting. So then they decided to just throw them. There's his first shot. Boop, boop. And then the Fanatic's going to come over and take a look and see if he can <laughs> fix it. <laughs> This is, this is great. The Fanatic is part of the pit crew. That's when you know you're in trouble, boys. <laughs> fanatic almost looked like he knew what he was doing. <laughs> well, that's his baby right there. Yeah. The next one. And then at the end, <laughs> Oh, that's funny. Hot dogs for everybody still on the field. <laughs> And a bouncer foul. TC catch the uh, foul ball in his <laughs> mouth. mouth. Foul ball. ball. Retrieved by the ball boy. Tries to get it to a fan. <laughs> <laughs> nice catch. Well, back here in Philadelphia, where the Philly Fanatic is going over the ground rules with the umpires, the coaches. Yeah, they're taking so long. He, he's trying to explain to everybody. He's like, let's go. People came here to see the game, not you guys. You're killing <laughs> us. Yeah. He, uh, he does get what's happening here on this field. He doesn't miss a whole lot, and he'll play to it. But I think one of the best things he ever does is when they announce the visiting team lineup, he'll go out and mimic each guy, and then he really has fun with Bruce Bochy. And the fact that Bruce Bochy has a size 8 hat is just fodder for the Philly Fanatic. Indeed. He's fun. <laughs> road trip hitting 435 10 for 23 three doubles a home run seven RBIs and a couple of walks and is 344 is 344 average on the road ranked second best in the National League and the only guy that leads him is another catcher Jonathan Lucroy from Milwaukee so those are our Nissan keys to the game Fennec is messing with Pence Better be careful. Pence has got that awkward on deck circle swing. He, oh, look, he's pulling his pants off. <laughs> oh, gets his socks up high. <laughs> uh. Well, Pence played with, with the Phillies. His good friends with Tom Burgoyne, who is the Philly fanatic. So he will go all right along with it. It really is an honor to get pimped by the Philly fanatic. Larry Boa representing the Phillies. Ron Wotus representing the Giants, exchanging the lineup cards. Yeah, Pablo really did a face plan here. He almost made a terrific catch. And the Philly Fanatic saw that. So. Yeah, he doesn't miss a whole lot. Does not. Sandoval, by the way, that happened early in the game, and he stayed in for the entire 14. Yesterday was one of those days where you could lose 10 pounds. Well, maybe not if you're an infielder, but you could lose two or three if you're on the infield. Uh, I guarantee Hector Sanchez dropped close to 10. He caught all 14 innings. Our McDonald's true stories. This would be facts from last night's game. 